Here are the top five plays and performances from last week, brought to you by the Utah Army National Guard. Corner Canyon was on the same page all season, and it's evident here. Talmadge Hanley makes the adjustment look so easy as he pulls that one in from Cole Hagen. Throw, Hagen going deep. He's looking for Hanley. Makes the adjustment, makes the catch, and it's Hanley at the 31-yard line. The unsung hero of this passing game, Talmadge Hanley. All the brothers, Hagen, are simply agreeable to watch the championship video. And Cole knows his brother will make the play when he needs him. We'll have more from Corner Canyon later. Going to the wheel route, got his man Cody. Makes the adjustment and the catch inside the 40-yard line. Everything went right for Skyview. Jacob Zollinger stabs this one one-handed, and we don't even believe it was intended for him. Oh, a man behind him. But he wanted the one-handed stab nonetheless. Not so sure he was throwing to him. <laughs> no. But heck of a grab. He's got his tight end dragon. Clarity's open right behind him. Hashtag DNRT5, huh? <laughs> hey, look, I'm going to get my name in the box score. One-handed. <laughs> Speaking of one-handed catches at Ryan Seckle Stadium, Mason Falslev is well-versed. This one. He raced a scoring opportunity for Park City. A good bake, but boy, I mean, Skyview looks like they were just ready for this, knowing that you got to go to the end zone. So that bake to the flat is pretty meaningless. And I mean, how about the one-handed grabs for Skyview today, huh? Not just one. We're in early, well, midway of our second quarter. we got a pair of them. Go back to his sophomore year, and he had an Odell Beckham-like catch. This one is all about big plays from the Orem Tigers. Their first drive, Micah Fea finds a wide open Owen Williams. He gets scooped and gets this game started right for the Tigers. Tim Few goes for a game time score at the end of the half, but Joe Smith doesn't let Orange and Blue teams off easy in championship games. Go back to his sophomore year, what he did in the Mountain Crest. This isn't a touchdown run, but it is far more impressive. Noah Sewell jukes four guys at once, and then a few more, and then picks up the first down. This run is so good, and it just shows the freakish athletic ability that Sewell possesses. The defense makes Tim Few pay for mistakes all night long. Then on fourth and two, Noah Sewell, he knows what to do. The C's part, and like Moses, Noah takes advantage of dry ground and blows a kiss at the end for good measure. Orem was on their game, Tim Few simply was not, and they take home their third straight state championship, the eighth in school history, back to Orem. Congratulations to Coach Hill and the Tigers. Skyview was absolutely dominant in all three phases of the game. Thor Griffin with a blocked punt to get things started. Then Scout Morris was prepared and took care of erasing passes all morning. Trayson Martindale made a tie trading play back in the semifinals against Dixie. Did it again in the championship game as they timed up blitzes all afternoon. Knocking out that Park City offense as Skyview shuts out an offense in Park City that was averaging nearly 39 points per game. Gave them a goose egg in the championship. And on top of that, they bring home the first ever state championship in football in Skyview history. Congratulations to the Bobcats. <laughs> All strive for perfection, and the last two seasons have been exactly that for the Corner Canyon Chargers. Seniors Cole Hagen, Van Fillinger, Jackson Light, Josh Wilson, Luke Cahoon, Clint Andra, and so many others posted one of the most impressive single seasons in the state's history. The Chargers absolutely stomped out the best football region in the state and they routed the largest classification in the state and route to their second consecutive state championship and looked so good in the process, averaging 45 points 
per game on offense and only giving up 15 points per game on defense. I guess that move to 6A wasn't as hard as we thought it might be. Congratulations to Coach Kerr and the Chargers back-to-back -back state championships. Football is gone. Oh, heaven help us. Have a top five play that we missed? Hit us up on Twitter at hashtag DNRT5 or at DNewsRewind.